so you had to be smacked but these you days know, these days you don't do that because you yeah. guys have got 911 well <laughs> where you the child can call 911 <laughs> <Nine, laughs> she said <laughs> triple zero my triple, parents beat me it's triple no, zero no they wouldn't call 911 hi guys but... it's coily diaries back with another video this is another exciting one because i've got my mom in here with me um once again i've done a video where i did a mom tag and i asked my mom a few questions so if you're interested in that one i'll put a link above um but otherwise this video is just one that we're going to talk about the generational differences between herself and myself because as you can tell we come from different generations she was born when we were mommy in the 60s in the 60s yeah and i am a 90s baby it's 30. yes so um we're just discussing and we realize there's a lot of things that are different now when compared to that time when mom was you know still a mom well not still a mom but a young mom and when we're still you know younger as well primary school and things like that so if you're interested in this video keep watching oh and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on videos um, that i post on this channel <laughs> Okay, so the first one we want to talk about is calling parents like um i'll ask my mother like how often did you call your parents in in your in your day like in your when you were in your 30s for example how how common was it for you to just call your parents and catch up or did you even have the ability to do that <laughs> yeah thank you so much uh, thank you for welcoming me on your video on your of course. channel pelilo uh us we never had the technology that is there today i could only write oh, yeah, a letter writing. to my mother yeah and she would get it after three months or yeah. so so it never we would not call yeah and i would even backdate it to when i was in secondary school yeah i would go with one tablet of soap yeah one bottle of oil oh and uh toothpaste one yeah and i would be in school for three months and you'd manage with would that not call would not communicate would manage with that until yeah. we go back home which is different to this generation it's isn't it different now because you call her or maybe you are in secondary school oh i want to call my daddy hey my what i've got is so what hey i broke that with us it wasn't there yeah but uh, now it's these technology. days yeah these yeah. days are you know if you need something or even just for a chat you yeah. call mom yeah. <laughs> i mean uh, yeah back in the day you probably had the the landline more landline? most in use but yeah. if you get a call from someone from a landline it's pretty desperate or, uh, yeah you want to be just serious. like hey i'm just calling to check on you mm. so i guess that's that's one um yeah. one difference yeah. and yeah we we call parents these days in <laughs> high school i didn't not so much mm -hmm. but definitely more so now than more before. so now yeah. how about child safety um what would you say are the what, what's something different that you notice in those days when we were babies as compared to now when you were babies we didn't we were only scared of fire hot water and things that could harm you within yeah, the house within the house yeah and when you are outside the house we never thought of thorns or what we just let you play in the dust right. and you'd come back into the house dirty and that was all right yeah but now you can't put your child on the ground either child will have this no we can't go in the there are flies no there's a there's an insect there no my child will get a flu <laughs> i think yeah, yeah that's that's true i think we're more there's, yeah there's extra things now and even just the car seat like oh yeah we can't go anywhere without putting the kid in the car seat those ah. days i mean even when i was a kid like yeah, we didn't ah. wear there we was didn't, no car seat we, we just, just put the baby on the lap and then you are just like that, <laughs> rocking the child until you reach your destination. Wow. Yeah, that's the definitely rules are different. different. Yeah, the rules are different. Especially yeah. here in Australia, you cannot go anywhere yeah. without the car seat. Is oh. it the same in Zambia? No, 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 no. Zambia has no rules of a car seat unless now, but 
it's not a fashion it's not a rule like a government instruction oh, okay it's personal yeah if you want the safety of the baby yeah usually when there are accidents children also mm. go with their parents mm. because they are not hooked strapped up, up yeah uh, strapped up yeah so definitely uh, an improvement i guess in that it's regard mm -hmm. how about playing outside Did you, i'll let you take it how how, how what's the difference because I noticed when, when we grew up, I, when I was a kid, guys, I played outside a oh, lot. Yeah. I, I got bitten for overplaying uh, outside and not yeah. doing my chores. Yeah. Um, but these days, what's happening these days? In the house, isn't it? With toys. Yeah, you... today you can't let a child play on a swing. Pililo broke her hand because she was playing on top of a, 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 swing. a, a swing and she oh, broke her hand. And we were only told in the evening that yeah. she broke up. Children would play the whole day, like mine, they would the play whole day, yeah. the whole day and in the evening. The, but today, children have all types of toys, mm. all types of games, the computer games, mm. the te television you games. Go to the park. You can't, hey. I guess even the housing situation, yeah. not everyone has a backyard where they can just have their yeah. kids. Some people stay yeah. in flats and in whatever flats. else. Yeah, yeah. So you sort of have them they inside. Come, come, which, so they are controlled within yeah. and they don't see the outside. It's, I think, don't even see the sunshine. Yeah, I think yeah. it's sad though because I miss playing out. I enjoyed enjoy that childhood. Yeah, you know? you enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> I enjoyed that childhood. Yeah. Do you? I'm sure your generation played outside. Oh yeah, outside as well. ours was ours was worse off. Yeah, there you go. Because you'd only be home when there's food. And it's time to you'd eat. You'd be playing the whole time, then you'd only eat when food is ready. Yeah. We're looking at gender roles. Gender roles has got uh, a different face yeah. this time because previously us yeah. in our days. You can't speak to to a man anyhow, or do a man's jobs anyhow. You'd do your own chores, like girls would be taught what to do, and boys would be taught what to do. Yeah. Boys would get an axe mm -hmm. and cut the tree. Mm -hmm. Girls, it's a broom mm -hmm. and the cooking stick. Yeah. So there were two things for girls, the broom and the cooking stick. Yeah. Boys, it's an axe and a hoy. So those roles were automatic. When it's the man... And they're very defined. Huh? Very defined. It's a man. The man must make sure the son knows how to cut a tree, yeah. how to dig the, the ground. And if it's a girl, mm -hmm. the mother should teach the girl how to cook and how to sweep. Yeah. Those were specific. But today... Oh, to, look. <laughs> tell me. Today, we have to share the, the roles. I mean, yeah. you have your husband, yes, yeah. but living in diaspora, there's no maid there's here. There's no maid, yeah. There's no maid here. So. And we're both working. If you what both work you full do? time, yeah. you know, there's no choice but to share those roles. So the you roles, find, yeah. you know, men doing a girl's, well, a woman's yes. job, like, yeah. you know, cleaning and cooking and doing the dishes. And the woman is also going to work more often and, and mm -hmm. contributing to the mm -hmm. financial. Yeah. Um, yeah. You agree. You yeah. agree, honey. What are we going to be doing? Yeah. Are we going to live in debt? Yeah. Are we going to eat out all the time? Mm -hmm. Because you guys like eating out. You Are we going to cook? So mm -hmm. you share the roles and you balance out. But yeah. us... It wasn't in order. I can't tell my husband, can you sweep? I'll do the dishes or can you change the diaper? I'll... No. Yeah, it, no. it was very specific. Yeah. Another one is, I guess, around discipline. Like, one thing that was very clear growing up was you don't have, to, like, my mom didn't have to say words mm -hmm. for me to know what her mood yeah. is saying. Yeah. You know, she would just give you an eye mm -hmm. and you know you've done something wrong and you yeah. need to rectify it. Yeah. Um, and of course, if you're in the wrong, you get you get a beating. Yeah, like, me meanwhile, for instance, yeah. if we're in public yeah. and you are looking at somebody too much, you know, you are just looking at somebody who doesn't look okay. Like staring, you, yeah. Staring at somebody. And then I'll just look at you in mm. the eye. And maybe I'll give a sign to say. And stop looking. <laughs> if it's in church. Stop staring. And you are misbehaving. <laughs> you are walking in and out, in and out. I'll just look at you. Mm -hmm. And you don't come out. Yeah. You never. 
if it's getting worse, that's when you'd spank. Yeah. You'd spank you and give you a good beating. Yeah, and that's another one. Yeah. Discipline. Discipline. Yeah, discipline is different. In your day, yeah. and uh, speaking African, yeah. you know, yeah. spare the road and spoil the child. That's what was uh, supposed <laughs> to be. It was used. Yeah. And uh, for instance, if a child didn't do according to the instructions and then they repeat, they burn the beans, they burn the, the trellis, they, or whatever they did, they didn't do it accordingly, you'd get a stick and spank on their back and then you tell, uh, next time you get it again. Yeah. So you had to be smacked. But these days know, these days you don't do that because you yeah. guys have got 911 well <laughs> where you the child can call 911 <laughs> <laughs> triple zero. My triple, parents beat me. It's triple no, zero. No, they wouldn't call nine one one, but they would report you. Like if you, you, if you, if you, you know, use you know physical punishment. Physical okay, punishment. They will report you and say that's child abuse. That's child abuse. So we never had child abuse. It, it wasn't in the words. It has just come now. Yeah. So, but we disciplined the children. Yeah. Mm. It may have not been the best. Parent-child relationships. Mm. What do you think about that one? Parent-child relationships, basically, children who speak through the mother. Okay. You can't talk to your dad directly. Direct yeah. If you have stomach ache. Yeah. Because they daddy, I'm going to, I'm going to. No. Or like when you're on your period and when stuff. When you're on your oh. period, daddy, I'm, I'm hurting, I'm on my no. knees. You can't do that. It's a taboo. Yeah. But today, it's the daddy who will go to the shop and buy the, the pads and give the daughter and you know it's it's, it's different important. yeah it's different it's Those. definitely different going to school how, how did you go to well for starters oh yeah in in my day when i was younger yeah and i'm sure in has you had to go to school yeah you know non-negotiable these days yeah if you don't want to go to school you can do like tafe or you can do an, an apprenticeship or something like that there's options and another thing is the method of going to school, right? <laughs> you guys walked a lot. Oh, yeah. So, first of all, it was a must yeah. for a, a child to go to, school, go to school so that tomorrow they can take care of me or they can take care of themselves or they can assist the other siblings. But you had to walk like in my time. Yeah. We were on bare feet, mm -hmm. we'd walk 15 kilometers. Wow. On bare feet, you stepped on Ks. stones, you, you stepped on thorns, you stepped on gravel. Mm -hmm. And you, if you go to school and you are late, mm. you find yourself smacked again. The, the teacher would say, what are you, beat you, and then... So you can't win. We had no choice. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of, of that, there's, you know, black tax. These guys and black tax, you know, you heard her saying, you know, you go to school so you can take care of me. Mm -hmm. That's their generation. In our generation, mm -hmm. um, no. my, my husband and I are not thinking, let's raise this child so he can take, take care, care of her. Mm -hmm. No, we are sort of setting ourselves so we can take care of ourselves. But, yeah. you know, um, those are generational differences. And, and yeah. particularly in Africa, there's a, a huge, mm -hmm. I guess, Expectation for kids for to look children. after, yeah, look after your parents after, yeah. which you know, it's it's. I guess that needs a video of its own to unpack it's it. A it's a different one. Yeah, it's a <laughs> packed, packed topic. Um, how about technology? Technology, you know, Pililo. I'll tell you the truth. We never had phones. Yeah. We never had televisions. Yeah. We never had whatever ipads you know we didn't have that all we had was physical things yeah. you cycle to tell somebody you get on a bicycle to go tell somebody so word of mouth word of mouth oral, even information we are talking about these things you you have type I, I, we couldn't. Mm -hmm. You just sit around the fire and they'll tell you stories of what happened or, or fairy tales. Mm -hmm. This time, you'd send uh, Facebook, you send uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, and uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Didn't happen in your day. No, it birthdays. Wasn't. Birthdays and, and memories. How many birthdays did you 
did i have a birthday from the time i was one all the way until i was 18? for you guys we were at least almost there i don't know if we did every every year no but we were doing yeah. would remember your birthday yeah because they were memorable because yeah. of the as as we spoke in the other video yeah but for me i don't remember celebrating any your birthday. birthday no no actually uh, like i don't really know whether that's the date i was born so i just created the date of my wow. birth so there are no record there's no record to say you were born on this day interesting it's only the year that you know that okay yeah. this is the correct year and the season the man, isn't it the, yeah no the season when you are getting those in, um, identity cards mm -hmm. you were told okay you were born when we are digging groundnuts i okay. didn't know when groundnuts were being dug so I just put a date. Yeah. Or you were born in cold season. Wow. You didn't know which month was cold season. Yeah. But the year, yeah. you would know. So ah. there was nothing in that line. Wow. It's different this generation. Birthday is big thing. A lot of, yeah. maybe not, I guess my generation, but the generation after me, mm. like my son, mm. they're going to have a birthday. They'll Every year, you know, it's big. Uh, in, Invite and if you friends. don't do it, and if you don't do it, well, they're kids. I don't think it would really have an effect. If they're older, mm -hmm. maybe they would take offense. They'll take offense. But for now, even babies, it's like, you know, it's a must. year one, year two, year three. It's like a birthday every single year. And it's well planned. And memories. You know, there's, you know, invites being thrown out there. Mm -hmm. That's a, de a definite generational okay. difference. As the memory was, you were born. Yeah, that's the memory. It was the only memory. Um... Did you have stay-at-home dads? Which... <laughs> that was a taboo. Yeah. Was Unheard a taboo. of, eh? Because the Bible says a man shall provide. Right. And the woman shall submit. So the man is supposed to provide everything. Me, I'll be at home. And previously, women never went to school. Women never worked. Mm. So... It is. It was improved at the time we were growing, mm. and I got to go. I I got to to find an opportunity to go to go school. to school. Yeah. But before me, my mother wasn't allowed to go to school. Actually, not me, allowed. Not allowed. Wow. My dad was the one bringing everything, supplying, for supplying like for everything, the clothing, everything for us for. If you didn't manage, you'd go like that in wow. one dress or two, one pair of shoes, just like that. Wow. But now, staying dads. Stay, stay at home dads. Stay at home. It doesn't sound very... I don't know. It's yeah, not general, familiar. It's this. Gender roles can change. Well, yeah, some people, I, I mean, it's something that I personally, mm -hmm. well, my, for my family, my husband and I don't really you know would, wouldn't really consider that mm. um i think maybe we're a little bit old-fashioned but there are people in my generation that mm -hmm. maybe even out of necessity the dad will stay home and the woman okay. the wife is the work. one who actually goes to work and brings i don't know many people that do that but i do know some that wow. do that and that's a definite uh difference it's, between the generations isn't yeah. it things are changing yeah things are changing. Uh, talking back at your husband Oh, oh how in I... our in our generation, uh, the husband was a key. Yeah, the husband was uh, he he was supposed to be alone most of the time, so that he's able to think about the future, about the uh, the woman's role was in the kitchen, cooking and preparing after taking to the husband. Mm -hmm. So, if he's talking, I'm supposed to be on the floor listening to him. You can't answer back like. You know, no, you wait. Like, As in, you have to wait. be on the floor kneeling. Kneeling, yeah. yeah. You give him food, kneeling. Yeah. And you come and collect after he's eaten. You come and collect, kneeling. And and you don't say a word. Yeah. Whether he says thank you or not. You just you do continue. as, wow. Whether he says the food was nice. Mm -hmm. You continue. Okay. Which is very different now. No. Like, like we've spoken about the gender no. roles. Like, yeah. Men cook, sweep. Yeah. I mean, there are still people that 
um don't do mm -hmm. that they're not really like the so gender that? yeah the gender roles are still specific okay. for certain people but you know slowly it's becoming a little bit more acceptable to have your yeah. husband doing what's considered female roles and vice versa but it's good to share mm. you you are one true good to share you may be tired you're also going for work and if that's a big thing because yeah. the women are going to work yeah. more these days so i guess yeah. it's it's in order to, to share yeah. the chores at home mm -hmm. and, and not expect yeah. for the woman to do everything, everything. Uh, how about when to have kids when to have kids uh i'll tell you the truth when to have a child yeah like like like, like the first child we never talked about it. Mm. The child should come. So the definitely less mm. planning. It's almost like yeah. it's, it just happened. Yeah. And I guess another thing is, um, I think your generation, you had kids earlier, earlier. than us. Cause yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah, me, I got married at 20. Early. And then I had the firstborn child. Yeah. But then after I stayed a little longer, eh, eh, people stopped. Oh, what's happening? Right. What's happening? So there was Why an expectation. An expectation. You're supposed to have children early and yeah. have them quickly when you're still strong. Yeah. When you can, you can take. Yeah. But that didn't have any significance. I mean, it's fair enough to think, okay, mm -hmm. you know, you want to have kids when you're your healthiest. But I think yeah. the, the expectation and the pressure yeah. sometimes is un, uncalled for. It's definitely there still yeah. at the moment. You know, I don't know. You, what, what do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you feel like, you know, we still have pressure to do certain things as women, particularly having kids at, at a certain age? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, the biological clock is real. Yeah. However, you know, things are a little bit, a little bit less intense mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when compared to your, your day. Um, but you see what's surprising technology has increased medicines have increased yeah. uh, knowledge has increased but people still don't want to have children early Yeah, uh, I, I think maybe that's because of um, like women are pursuing careers, careers? Quite, quite a lot yes. so you're doing your degree then your masters then yeah. your PhD yeah. before you think about getting married and then kids yeah. you know <laughs> you'll be having your first kid at 40 for some yeah. people Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's, it's acceptable but yeah. long back there, nah, no, you never see that. They would call you and ask you, "Is this sit a you problem? down?" Yeah. Do Question: we have a problem? <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> Do you need help? Um, uh, parenting and imparting values in kids. Mm. How did you find it difficult to instill certain values in your kids? Yeah, especially uh, the male. Okay. With the female, it was easier mm -hmm. because I would use my experience. Yeah. But with the male, I expected my husband to impact the value. That's so, great. So I couldn't force him. Yeah. I, I leave him to do it. Yeah. So if he doesn't do it, then I would say, so what next? Yeah. Maybe look for some gentle man or look for some male figure to help me with this boy. But Today, you can do both. Parents can instill values in children either way. Yeah. Either father or mother can instill the values that are good, mm. especially values that you know that children are supposed to respect yeah. the elderly. Yeah. Children are supposed to, to respect parents yeah. as well as love brothers and sisters. There are children who don't love each other. They fight in the house. Mm. They beat the younger. So those values are supposed to be taught as a team. Mm. So what I hear you say is that like in your day, it was maybe a little bit more s structured and specific mm. that, you know, the, the, the boys are mm. taught by mom, by mm. dad, and then yeah. the girls nurtured mom. by mom. Mm. Today, I think it's both, mm -hmm. although there are still some things that are better suited for you know either gender. yeah mm -hmm. um so yeah i guess the question mainly was about imparting values and i guess maybe those days without so much social media influence mm -hmm. you had a little bit of an upper hand as a parent to yeah. instill what you wanted in your child these days i mean i could have things i want to teach my son sure. but if mm -hmm. He has other people in his ear, he has society, he can report me and his dad for, you know, 
for example, disciplining him, you know, there's a lot against that you're fighting against to try and instill those values in a child yeah. these days because of yeah. those it, uh, external influences. How about when we we got hurt? Like if I come to you oh, crying and I've got a bruise from playing outside or something, mm. would you rush me to the emergency department? No, I would. First of all, I would beat you. Oh, that was the. <laughs> Why did you get this bruise? It means you were in a place that is not You're safe. You're not supposed to be. Okay. Why did you play in that place knowing there are rocks there, there yeah, are stones yeah. there, and then you come. So I'll beat you. After that, I'll get salt and clean that wound. Yeah. And you are busy crying. Yeah. Crying. After crying, I'll bring you and soothe you. Okay. Don't do that again. Yeah. Don't go there. Don't do that again. Yeah. So that was... Uh, how we used to to, to, handle, such to handle such kind of situations. Yeah. In this yeah. day, eh, like mm -hmm. if, if a child gets hurt. Or a, a skin rash. Yeah. <laughs> all hell breaks loose. All sorts of creams and bandages and dressings mm -hmm. and calls to the doctor. Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, that's a, a definite difference. So I think worry. We, yeah, we worry mm -hmm. quite a lot. And mm -hmm. You know little things maybe for you you had a lot of confidence because you know there was a lot of like your mom your sisters you've seen a lot of kids being brought up around you, do you no, think? no no the no the thing was uh, it was not confidence it wasn't easy to go to the clinic okay there like, you go you are on phone there you go we wouldn't call a doctor yeah you have to walk 15 kilometers right to take a bruise it's not as easy yeah it to wasn't take care easy. Of so you had to have knowledge say okay when my child is this i have to do okay. uh, when it is a diary i have to do you need to when have, it is a yeah. cough i unless it has persisted okay. that's when you now say uh -uh, let's, let's go, go to the hospital. hospital like i'll give you a typical example your grandmother uh we were seven of us and all of us got measles at the same time mm. so my my dad was not around mm. and all of us were supposed to be taken to the hospital for immunization mm. she got a bicycle Behind the bicycle, she put a basket. Yeah. And in that basket, she put three children. Right. Then in front, she put three children. That is six. And one was walking. So she was pulling that bicycle with the six children on the bicycle. And, and the other bigger girl was walking. What? All of us, seven at the same time, were immunized. How far was this clinic? 15 kilometers from home. So it's different. Very different. But the mother has a very big role. Yeah. Very, very big role. When the child is sick, the mother is sick. Okay. Yeah. Wow. There you have it, guys. That's the generational gap between my mother and I, or her generation, <laughs> my generation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do yeah. comment below and think what other things are different um between the two generations uh, and yeah be sure to subscribe click that notification bell if you haven't already otherwise i will see you in my next video thank you bye bye, -bye.